In Angel, it's common practice to upload a syllabus to each course space. So if I go into the course and I go to um, the Resources tab, sometimes people will upload uh, a Word document or other file to the Lessons area so the students can get the syllabus there. But the way the software is designed, you go to the Resources tab and you see there's no syllabus listed there. But I have different choices for how to set that up. If I edit the syllabus settings, I can choose the default template, which will let me use the syllabus editor to fill in certain fill in the blanks. So this is a good way if I don't have a syllabus created, I can go in here and fill in these blanks and um, build my syllabus that way. But most frequently, people already have uh, a syllabus file that they've had to get through a curriculum review process or have been using for years already that they want to modify and use. So where I filled in some blanks here and I got this um, very basic syllabus f information, I could also go to the resources tab and click on the edit link again. And this time go to syllabus files where I could upload a file. Okay, so if I, want, if I had a Word document or something like that, I could go and upload that. Um, one problem with that would be that then I would have a Word document uploaded and students who didn't have Microsoft Word or a way to view that file would not be able to access it. Also, um, when students clicked on it and it pops up and launches a different software, it's uh, sort of a dis What we recommend instead is that instructors open that Word document in Word and then save it as HTML before uploading it to Angel. So if I go in to Office and I say save as and I choose to save the file in HTML format. Now I can choose MHTML or single file web page which is Microsoft's HTML or I can choose regular HTML or filtered HTML. We really recommend that you stick with uh, regular HTML as the MHTML or single file web page format has uh, some Microsoft specific formatting in it that's not doesn't play friendly with all browsers. So I'm going to create a web page and for this example I'm going to create it on my desktop. Okay, So now I can see what this file looks like. It's the same information as I had previously. Uh, it's just now a web page. So I'm done in Word. If I go ahead and close that and I look on my desktop I see that I have this generic syllabus .htm and then I also have a folder. Now when you create a web page, if you have any images or tables or other things like that, those will be f saved in a separate folder. So what we want to do is we want to combine this folder and this word or this HTML file together into one file that we can upload into Angel. So to do that, I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to right click and one of my choices is going to be send to compressed file. Okay. So now I have everything in one package all zipped up. And if I go back into Angel again and I'm at this screen I got here just to, in case you didn't see how I got here I went from resources to edit the syllabus to syllabus files and I'm now I'm going to upload or add content and I'm going to upload that file, that zipped up file. Okay. So on my desktop I have a file and it's called generic syllabus dot zip. If I hit open and then I click upload. Okay, so the file is in Angel now and it wants to know if I want to extract it, which I do. So now in uh, my syllabus files area, I have that folder and that uh, HTM file. So I'm going to hit exit syllabus files. So now I got it. I got it in there, but I didn't specify that's the one I want to use. So when I click on this, I still see the simple version. I want the the one that I uploaded. So I'm going to go to edit the syllabus settings. I'm going to change this drop down menu now to that syllabus.htm file. 
and hit update. So now when I click on that course syllabus, it goes directly into the, the information. To demonstrate the difference, let me go back into the syllabus files again. This time I'm going to upload another file. I'm going to add content and upload the Word document, the original Word document. Okay, um, I'm done and I want to exit the syllabus files and then I want to specify that Word document. Okay, update. So now see it wants to open it in Word, which is fine if I have Word on my computer or I have a way to view Word files, but it's not optimal. So I'm going to go back in one more time and I'm going to change it from the Word doc the dot doc format to the dot htm format and hit update. Voila, there's the syllabus.